step on. Remember per radio with your host Gen T. Fuck, I don't know what what the fuck. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. I'm fucking coming for you. Now I feel poo coming out of my bum. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot right now. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo per radio. I am your host Gen T. Twitter and Instagram at GenT523. Yes, friends, we made it. We have survived another week. Unless if you are listening to this and you are inside of a coffin, I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, for, for those of us who are still living and breathing and drawing air into our lungs... And are clawing and scratching our way up to the top, or maybe you're scooting your way down. <laughs> Here we are again, Rambo for Radio. Um, I gotta tell you guys about so many cool things, so many silly things, so many exciting things, so many fun things, so many stu- stupid things. But first, it's time for customers of the week. Well. <sighs> I, you know, I'm I, I I'm always minding my own business at work, you know, because <laughs> this is how it always starts. I was minding my own business when, <laughs> um, and I was doing just that, minding my own business, trying to stay out of trouble. Everything I do is to beat the clock and escape and get to jujitsu. So when I don't get to uh, beat the clock when I don't get to escape, when I don't get to go to jujitsu. Ah, ah, I'm a bit of a mess. So I had to help this um, poor unfortunate soul. <laughs> the, 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 the worst, the worst. Um, you know, I was minding my own business, like I said. And then uh, a friend of mine goes, Hey, uh, can you help this guy? And I was like, uh, I guess so. Even though he went around and I went around three other people, no, excuse me, five other people talking that were doing absolutely nothing. Five people standing there talking, cackling away, doing whatever the fuck they were doing. Well, meanwhile, I was working. I was fucking dusting shells. I was fucking straightening. I was fucking checking dates. I was asking if people need help. And also hiding from my boss. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was like, dog, really? Like, you're going to ask me? You couldn't ask the five people you walk by just to ask me? And then I thought, maybe this is somebody that knew me or knew a family member or something. So I was like, all right, let me let me not, you know, let me just be cool. Don't, don't be a dick. Help this guy. Okay. So I was like, all right. So I was like, uh, yes, sir, you had a question? And he tells my friend, he goes, "Uh oh, oh man, why did you ask her? She yelled at me last time." I was like, "The fuck, bitch! I've never seen this person in my fucking life." And I was like, "Uh, okay, did you need some help or not? Like, what the fuck is this? I can totally go back to doing what I was doing, which was burning up the clock, so I can go to fucking jujitsu because I don't give a shit about." Anything that happens in these four walls, okay? <laughs> I have to survive the eight fucking hours and then escape to Jujitsu, okay? Escape to the gym where I have fun with my friends or even sometimes just me. Nobody come to the class, it's just me sometimes. <laughs> but um, so this guy was like, no, uh, no, no, you are uh, so, uh, no, no, no. I was just playing, girl. I was just playing. So, uh, I had, uh, I had your homie over there ask you because I only want help from my people. And I was like, you are, you are, you are, you are what? Okay. So obviously this is a black guy and you guys know, you guys know how bad I hate black people who don't like other people 
who make it a point to only communicate with other black people. They won't talk to white people. They won't talk to Mexican people. They won't talk to Chinese people. They won't talk to uh, uh, Israeli people. They won't talk to Palestine. They won't talk to Russia. They won't talk to nobody but other black people. I despise this scenario 1,000%. This is like literally number three, maybe even number two on the list, which is why I do not get along with most black people who do this, okay? I do not appreciate this. I come from a mixed family. Some of my air quotes, black relatives are light skinned. You wouldn't know they were black. But you gotta say some fucking out of pocket shit like, oh, I wanna talk to my people. Yo, 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 my sister, I wanna talk to my people. I'm like, oh my God. So right away I was just like, oh my God. How, how could my friend do this to me? Because I'm going to kill this guy and my friend after this is done. Before I clock out of work, I'm going to kill both of them. <laughs> I don't even talk, I want to talk to my people. I want to talk to you, my sis, my people. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. As a, as an African American, as a African American, as Rush Limbaugh would say, um, as a black person, I, have a complete 100% issue with this. I do not care for black people who only want to talk to other black black people because it's fucking stupid. This is the stupidest thing. It's just completely and utterly preposterous. (laughs) I am, on the other hand, of I want to talk to anyone who is almost not black (laughs) being a black person because I'm just like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to find out that you're, like, racist against everybody else, but you like black people. Like... Listen, every race has stupid people in it. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> Let's not just be like, everybody else sucks, but black people are cool. Like, oh, come on, man. So anyways, I was like struggling. I was like, oh, my God. I was like, get me through, Jesus. <laughs> I was singing Negro spirituals to myself to get through. <laughs> mama, mama. Is my gonna sell us today, mama? <laughs> okay, I was like, um, okay, sir. Well, any one of us can help you. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Cause I'm, I don't understand what's going on. I don't. I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm not playing that game. So, um, he's like, no, 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 sis, no, nah, sis, no, nah, sis, sis. I need help from my people because, you know, let me tell you something. Let's, let's, let's walk over here because I don't want to be too close to, to, the, to, to, to your coworkers. I don't mean to offend anybody, but, you know, you know, you my sister, okay? You're going to give me the best advice. I was like, I don't care if you're fucking Mongolian. I'm going to give you the best advice. I don't give a fuck about that shit. That's so stupid. So he was like, so, uh. I love to smoke cigars, and uh, I need to clean up my diet or whatever, but I need you to not tell me to not smoke cigars, okay? Because uh, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning for work, and, and I need me a cigar. And then, you know, I like to have a cigar before bed, and then maybe one at lunch, okay? So uh, I'm having some troubles with my diet or whatever. I may or may not have diabetes, uh, but here's what I eat, okay? Uh, so 4.30 in the morning, I wake up, I go to work, I got my cigar. Uh, I don't even eat. I'm good. I won't eat till like 1, 2 o'clock. Then then I'll have a, uh, 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 I'll have a, a handful of almonds and uh, maybe a, a piece of meat. Uh, but but no pork, you know, because, uh, you know, pork upsets my stomach. I, I only have that maybe twice a week, okay? Uh, but some sort of uh, a piece of fish or a piece of uh, uh, a hamburger, you know what I'm saying? And a coffee. I love my coffee. I got to have coffee. But don't tell me, sis. Sis, I know what you're about to tell me. Don't tell me I can't have my cigar. I love my cigar. I need my cigar. I was like, um, that's not what I was going to tell you. Um, so uh, I was just going to tell you, here are the multivitamins. Here is the diabetes stuff. And have a nice day. <laughs> 
You guessed wrong. <laughs> no, 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 sis. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, sis. You got to tell me which is the best one. And I'm like, it's the best one. Motherfucker, there's 40 fucking feet of vitamins. Six aisles of 40 fucking feet. What do you mean the best one, bitch? Grab one and try it. Jog off. No, 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 sis. I need the best one. The one that's got everything in it. Let me show you this thing right here. Let me show you this wellness juice that I got on the internet from some YouTube doctor. It cost me $200 a bottle, but it has everything you need in it. Do you guys have this? And I was like, $200 a bottle? What the fuck? And I looked at it, and it was complete garbage. And I was like, dude, this is trash. He's like, what? And I was like, yeah, this is trash. He's like, ah, oh, I knew it. And he was like, yeah, I got to be honest with you. The doctor was white on this YouTube channel. So I knew something was up, but I thought I'd try it. And I kind of felt good for a little bit. But now I feel sick again. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, uh, okay, uh, so this is something that we have that's close to this, but it will be definitely much better. Is this product right here. $50? $50? That's cheap. You sure that's the best thing, sis? I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, well, you decide. You ask me, and this is it. Goodbye. So I, I leave, and he's sitting there spinning. You would have thought that thing was a snow globe. He was just spinning that liquid vitamin around all kinds of directions and just staring at it like he was fucking lost in space or some shit. Like he was a fucking Thunderbird. <laughs> Goddamn Thunderbird. <laughs> oh, shit. He was just twirling that thing around, looking at it from every angle. Mind you, this is a sealed bottle. You can't see what's inside of it because obviously vitamins, they don't really want to really have a, an exposed uh, bottle because then it, it oxidizes the nutrients in there or, or can become rancid and it's dangerous to people who consume it. So he was like trying to figure out, he's like, hey, yo, sis, I need to know. You know, obviously, you, 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 I believe that you suggested the best vitamin to me, but I need to know, uh, is this a tablet? Is this capsules? Is this powder? And I was like, sir, it says liquid on it. And when you shake it, it makes the liquid noise. That's, that's liquid. He goes, oh, okay, sis. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you because, you know, I came in the store and I got kind of scared and I only see two black people working here. So I got to ask my people for help because I don't know, you know, them other people, the, 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 the other people might take advantage of me. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, I got to ask my people for help. I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Goodbye. And so I'm minding my own business. He goes, hey, sis. Hey, yo, sis. I'm like, ah, God. Lord Jesus What have I done to deserve this hell What have I done Oh shit And uh, <laughs> He go Remember I told you I got You know a little little, Just a little bit of the touch of diabetes I need to know what vitamins I can take And I was like well, well To be honest with you You actually need to start eating Correct foods You, you actually starving yourself and um it's affecting your 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 metabolic system it's just completely shutting down <laughs> you said you only need a handful of almonds a bunch of cigars and a, a piece of meat <laughs> oh and tons of coffee i'm shocked that you were even upright and talking to me sir <laughs> Oh, is it? Oh, he's like, well, you know, um, I might have a touch of the diabetes. So uh, what can I take? And I was like, well, you should probably get some oatmeal. And he goes, what? Oatmeal? I ain't got time to make that. I got work at 430 in the morning. And I was like, okay, well, come with me. So I walk over to the fridge and I show him the greatest breakfast snack slash 
deliciousness of all time, which is M U S H mush overnight oats. That's right, bitch. It's already cooked. It's in a refrigerator. It's in a tub. You can throw it in your fucking ice chest and go to work like I do every fucking day. Mush. Okay. You throw it in your goddamn ice chest. Leave that in your car, your locker, or wherever the fuck you work at, Jack. And uh, you just eat it. Oh, what? Sis, that's crazy. This is oatmeal. It called mush. But how I taste, though. I was like, um, fine. I eat it all the time. Hmm. But I like my food hot. (laughs) And I said, well, sir, then heat it up. Put it in a microwave safe container and heat it up for 30 fucking seconds. I don't know. But you need to start eating some fucking oatmeal with some fiber in the morning or some fucking oatmeal and eggs. Okay? Eggs? I ain't got... And I said, you can put eggs in a fucking coffee cup. But that's for my coffee. And I said, no. Before you make your coffee or make your coffee and pour that in another cup that's safe for coffee, put your fucking eggs in the microwave. That's right, bitch. Put the piece of cheese in there, a little piece of chop up some little meat, some veggies, throw that bitch in the microwave, crack two eggs in there, cook it for a minute, it's done. Do 45 seconds, it's done. Three eggs, a minute, you're done. Okay? You want it a little bit more firm, then you can just do, you know, 15 second increments from there. But I'm telling you, I've been cooking eggs in the microwaves at my work for years. 20 fucking years. Okay? It tastes just as good as in a pot, Okay? So it can be done. I have done it. It can be done. I'm still alive. I'm telling you with peace and love, sir, this can be done. You can do this. Put in a little bit of effort. The five more minutes you would spend smoking that cigar, why don't you fucking get the microwave going with some oatmeal and eggs? (laughs) He was like just fucking blown. Like He was just staring at me and then staring at the oatmeal. And I put it in his hand. He's like, mush. Sis, sis, you mean to tell me this is already cooked oatmeal? Sis. (laughs) I was like, yes. And I'm pretty sure this was invented by a white person. Not that that matters, but... um. (laughs) This is revolutionary. You don't have to do anything. You just open it and eat it. Or like I said, you can heat it up yourself if you want. Who cares? You need to eat something more balanced. Your fucking diet is in the trash because you're not paying attention to yourself. You need to take better care of yourself. Oh, my sis, that's amazing. I, oh, wow. Okay, but uh, I, ne- I might need a little uh, 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 coffee. And I was like, mm, I don't think you need any more coffee, sir. I think you drink plenty enough coffee. He's like, no, 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 no. I need this uh, uh, thing I seen on the YouTube doctor. He talked about some kind of mushroom coffee. And, uh, you know, uh, this one time my friend made me some mushroom coffee, uh, but that didn't end well. I actually got a massive amount of diarrhea and then, uh, I couldn't see my friend. There was, it was all like I was just floating in space or some shit. I, I, I just want the, the mushroom coffee for the brain. Y'all got that? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. I was just about to lose my fucking mind and then some god bless it. Some 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 poor unfortunate soul just just rude enough, just the right on time. Of course he was white, young white guy, buff. He was like, Hey, uh when you're done, uh can can I borrow you for some questions? And the black guy was like, Yeah, when I'm done talking to her, you can. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. He going to have a yeah off of you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the white guy was like, just kind of stared at him like, oh, shit, take it easy, partner. <laughs> and he's like, mm, I got so many questions about this mushroom coffee. But apparently you got to help this guy over here. So 
I'm not gonna take up too much of your time, you know. Uh, but uh, okay, if I have any more questions, I'll find you. And then he gave the white guy a dirty look, and I was like, "Um, come with me, sir, before you get stabbed." <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, um, where's the coffee? And I was like, oh, you don't want any coffee right now, sir. <laughs> Cause the black guy was over there fucking just wilding out, just staring at fucking mushroom coffees over there. <laughs> and I was like, maybe you might want to give it about 10 minutes before you go and get some coffee, sir. I don't want you to get stamped. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my days. And then the worst of the worst. I mean, just the most just the most asinine behavior and it really does relate to her ass um there was a customer my coworker was helping and um she was severely 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 overweight and uh you know as a an overweight person as well um but i do go to the gym so i'm 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 uh, what they call a, a fat leaf <laughs> a fat leaf <laughs> Kind of fat, kind of in shape. <laughs> um, so I'm not as obese as this individual was, but I am still obese according to the law. But uh, anyway, this lady was just full on, maybe five foot two, um, weighed as much as I do, probably north. Oh, no, 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 no. She, I am the a uh, uh, whole 245 pounds, of course. This lady was five foot two, north of 300 pounds. I'm five nine, at least, at least. It's bad that I'm five nine and I'm 245 pounds, but this lady was five foot two, north of 300. You, you, you're in some shit, ma'am. You're in some shit. So she asked my core, she said, Excuse me. Excuse me, uh, can you help me? And you know I love my Latin fam, but this was like egregious. I was like, girl, you need to stop. This is, you need a doctor. You need medical attention. You are going to die very soon. I'm not a doctor, but I can just tell. Time is running out. We're living on borrowed time right now. Is there a doctor in the house? Or let me go get a shopping cart to catch you when you fall out from a stroke. Holy shit, this lady was in bad shape. She said, hello, I need some vitamins. Uh, I have the uh, diabetes. I have uh, hypertension. I have high blood pressure. I have this. I have that. The circulation's off. I have blah, 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 blah. just going on and on. And then so he and kind of broke it down to her and explained, you know, uh, he said, okay, well, before I give you some vitamins here, because uh, in your situation, I don't know, the, your options are very limited as to what I can refer to you. Um, but let's start with what you're eating. Oh, I eat very healthy, okay? So uh, in the morning, I have uh, uh, some coffee. Um, and then I, uh, at a lunchtime, I have a, a couple of pistachios, you know, like five. And then, uh, uh at dinner time, I'll have a, a piece of, uh, chicken. Yeah, that's, that's pretty healthy. Um, but I'm still not losing weight and my, my diabetes is getting worse and my high blood pressure. I, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> and I'm just like, holy shit, this bitch is slowly giving herself the old food knife and slowly stabbing herself in the gut with that. Of five pistachios. Ma'am, the fact that you know the number you're eating is crazy. Because <laughs> most people just grab a handful and eat them or they eat too many. But the fact that you count it out, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five pistachios. I was like, oh my God. So my my coworker was like, okay, ma'am, let's not I'm not gonna really refer any uh supplements to you. This is what we can do. And and uh, you know, he's got a background in biochemistry. He knows how the body fucking works on a cellular level to a motherfucking T, okay? This man knows. He knows the shit from the back from front to back, side to side, arriba abajo. <laughs> 
And uh, <laughs> he starts telling her, all right, when you wake up at this time, this is what you can do. You're going to start having a protein shake or some sort of protein. When you wake up, you're going to have some protein and some fiber. And you're going to do this six times a day because you're going to need to stabilize your blood glucose. You're going to need to do all this stuff. Oh, I know I want to lose weight and everything because uh, I, you think that'll help? And he's like, um, <laughs> and I'm just standing there, <laughs> staring and trying not to laugh. I'm trying to look away. I'm like, oh, shit, bitch. What do you think? You think you were born out the womb fat? No, you became this way. Now you got to undo. OK. And so I really felt bad because I could tell. Um, and maybe this is just my personal reflection that uh, uh, in my uh, years of struggling with weight loss and I still struggle with it and my pounds and all my stuff. Uh, I'm an emotional eater. If I get a lot of anxiety, I'm going to eat things that I should not eat, that I know that are not good for me, are not healthy choices, because I am just in a complete panic mode, a state of panic or anxiety, or just stress the fuck out. I'm going to eat some ice cream, or I'm going to get me some Costco pizza. You know what I'm saying? So I feel her pain. I understand. Going to therapy, getting a, a seeing a life coach, or, or talking to friends, or or uh, starting a podcast or picking up a hobby has helped so much with my anxiety and my managing my emotions, reading books about just trying to be a better human being, exercising, lifting weights, sitting in a sauna, all the feel good things. But you have to make the effort. And this lady was not willing to make the effort at all. So my friend's breaking down what she needs to do. And she's like, Okay, I could eat. You're saying I need to eat more? And he's like, yes, you do. But we're not saying that you need to eat everything more, but you need to eat more protein, more fiber. She goes, mm, okay. And he said, and then, you know, you need to incorporate three days a week of weight resistant training. She goes, mm, I don't think so, mijo. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Bitch, that's the secret. Three days a week, lifting weights. That's the fucking secret, okay? If you really want to be an all-star athlete, my man Jack Reacher, if you've ever seen the show on Amazon Prime, I highly recommend. Jack Reacher. This guy is j j j j jacked and is also Jack Reacher. Okay, this guy is fucking yoked the fuck out. And, of course, he might be on a little TRT, PP, whatever, PRP. He might be doing all the, the shit, okay? But... He made an excellent point, and I've mentioned it on here, and I will keep saying it forever. He exercises. He does weights. He's done weights every single day for 30 minutes a day. Weights every day. No days off. No days off the gym. He's lifted weights every single day for 20 years. And he got a 10-pack, okay? He got 10. And he got the little fucking... The little fucking, you know, the little, the little handle. Then you stick with the hip bone and then the little, the little vein, the little roadmap vascularity right next to his hog. I mean, my, my guy is shredded. Okay. He's got the body that most people would die for. And he says, you know what? I have pasta. I have ice cream. I eat all them foods all the time. But you know why? I have earned the right to do so. 20 plus years of working out 30 minutes a day, seven days a week. Yes, he eats whatever the fuck he wants when he wants, but he earned the right to do so. So this lady thinking that she's just going to do whatever or starve herself, uh, she is not fixing the problem. She's just she's adding more to the problem by starving herself or beating herself up. I know she's saying that. And so my buddy was like, you got to do the three days a week of weight training. If you can do five days, even better. Seven days you're the you're you are the man. You're the motherfucking man or lady, okay? Or the the Zims or whatever the alphabet mafia wants you to be. Um, but my point is, is you gotta earn it. We don't just get to have pizza and ice cream because we can. It's nice to think like that, but it's not appreciated unless you put in the fucking work. Guess when I have ice cream? When it's a hundred and fucking eight degrees outside, and I did jujitsu for two hours. I'm going to have me some ice cream, bitch, okay? <laughs> I earned that motherfucking ice cream, okay? 
Days that I don't go to the gym or I miss the gym or something's going on or I feel emotional, I'm going to add some extra ice cubes in my water and maybe put a splash of lemon in it and call it a day. Okay? There's no ice cream to be had. I didn't earn it, Jack. That's the way that people got to start looking at this shit. But it gets worse. So when she told my friend, she's like, nah, not doing the exercising. So he said, okay, fine. You don't want to do exercising. How about walking? 30 minutes a day. How am I walking? You know, that's not a bad idea because uh, I, I actually do like to walk. So, um, but uh, there's just this one problem. I, I actually don't want to lose the weight because uh, I don't want to lose my ass. I was like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, what? You don't want to lose your head. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to lose your ass, Jack. I don't want to lose my ass. You know, it's my it's my 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 favorite feature. <laughs> you bitch. And he was like, "Oh, okay. Well, um, good luck with that." <laughs> and after she left, <laughs> I was like, "Dog, dog." You don't want to lose your ass, but you got diabetes, you got high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Do me a favor. When you die soon, because it's going to happen, you think they're going to bury you ass up in the coffin? <laughs> they're going to, oh, man, Yolanda, we love you. Damn, that was a great ass. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Bitch. I have some unsettling news for you. Nobody's going to see your ass when you're dead, Jack. When you die prematurely. You could have had a long life. You could be on the way to go somewhere. The road to something good. Okay? But you're worried about your ass. Which is not even attractive because you are so overweight. That you look like you're, you're not going to make it through the day. It's day to day. That's how bad she looked. So how the hell are you supposed to find a partner when you can't even take care of yourself? You don't feel good about yourself. You're sick. Your body's shutting down. And you're worried about your ass? What the fuck is that? (laughs) I don't want to lose my ass. I I don't want to lose weight because then I lose my ass. Girl, why don't you try losing weight first and worry about your ass later? How about that, okay? Jesus Christ. I immediately was like, oh, I know exactly who you are, Yolanda. You are that girl 20 years ago in high school. They were like, damn, Yolanda got a fetish. Yeah, Yolanda, make a clap. <laughs> I know exactly who this bitch is, okay? Yolanda, what a fetish. <laughs> I just know exactly who this individual is because they're living in the past and the ideas and comfort zones and and bogus stories that they tell themselves, just their own little weird little box and the things that they tell themselves to make themselves feel comfortable. Like, ooh, in high school, I was the girl with the ass. Like, bitch, nobody cares anymore. You're not in high school. You're a grown-ass lady. And if you're not going to take care of yourself, who the fuck's going to do it? Nobody. You don't got no man. I already know that. I know that, Jack. You ain't got no man. Two, if you did, he not going to respect you. He not respecting you because you don't take good care of yourself. So why would he respect you? And three, uh, maybe you as a lesbian and that's the thing in, in the lesbian community. But at some point we both, we both realized that, Hey, you can only be PHAT for so long and then you got to do something about it. Okay. And if you've already got illnesses, your body is in decline. You got to do something. Stop worrying about your ass and your, 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 your image to people. You need to take care of your fucking self. Okay, I don't know who's listening to this, or maybe I do know a few people that listen to this, but if you can, if you are struggling with weight like I am, all you have to do, this is really simple, is prioritize some things. 
health is wealth. If your body is breaking down, you cannot function. You're faking the funk, but you know deep down inside, you, you know what you need to do. Take the step in the right direction. Get you some weights from fucking Big Five or Target. Any store other than Walmart, because fuck those guys. <laughs> but you get you some weights, get you some weights on Craigslist or eBay. I don't know. But you need to start lifting weights. And a lot of women go, I don't want to lift weights because then I'm going to get all bodybuilder. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen to you, okay? Trust me. You want to lift some weights because you're going to build some muscle. And then that muscle is going to boost your metabolism. Okay? And then you'll start burning fat. And then you'll start feeling amazing. And you know what happens when you start losing weight and taking care of yourself? You feel good. And when you feel good, that feeling is projected outward. And people pick up on that feeling and they go, hey, you know what? I noticed you lost some pounds. Or, hey, I noticed you, you're in good spirits more. What's going on? I'm taking care of myself. That's what you need to say. I cannot imagine. I mean, I'm already there. I have days where I'm like, fuck it, <laughs> Costco pizza. I have them days. But then after I finish that pizza, I go, oh, fuck. That means I'm going to have to work extra hard at the gym tonight. I already understand how this works, man. But I get it. I understand. I've been there where there have been some days where I'm like, I don't want to go to the fucking gym. And I love going to the gym. The gym is my favorite place to go. My therapist goes, what do you do socially? I go to the gym. She goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> someplace that doesn't involve the gym and I was like well all of my friends are at the gym <laughs> I'm trying to convince my therapist that the gym is a great social place <laughs> even though I'm mean mugging everybody like stay the fuck away from me no you may not use this machine I'm using it god damn it um, but no uh, I guess my point is is that please for the love of god I don't mean to be preachy or whatever, but since I do work in health and just hearing that conversation and it's, it's a conversation I've had so many times, please, for the love of God, start taking good care of yourself because nobody's going to do that for you. At the end of the day, it's your body, it's your life. And if you don't take good care of yourself, your body's going to be like, Hey, uh, peace out. <laughs> It's been fun, but we can't take this shit no more. <laughs> and it's going. <laughs> your soul will leave your body and be like, what the fuck? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if that bitch will be at her funeral. Yolanda will be at her funeral. And they're like, hey, make sure you bury me ass up. <laughs> Oh shit. God damn it, man. Oh, and lastly, this was the best. The best of the best customers of this week. Uh um it, this was a, a quite fascinating story. She uh a lady, one of our, my lovely Latin fam. Who uh, there was some sort of misunderstanding because I answered the phone and I said, hello, how can I help you? And she goes, si hablan, si hablan. And I was like, whoa, hey, uh, uh, muy poquito. <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> she goes, do you speak Spanish? And I was like, uh, a little bit. Oh, I need somebody who speaks Spanish. And I was like, okay, pass it on. We didn't have nobody who spoke Spanish. Oh, we have one girl who spoke Spanish. So uh, she was trying to translate, and then the girl was translating. She goes, the lady, uh, I put the call back on hold. The lady says she speaks English because uh, I'm speaking to her in Spanish, but she don't understand. And I was like, well, let's try and figure this out. So she asked her in Spanish, and the lady goes, I need oxy, oxytina, oxytina. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> oxytina. And uh, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> um, I said, uh, I looked it up and it was, uh, it was, um, 
oxytocin. Yeah, I needed the oxytocin. Um, uh, oxytina, oxytina. I was like, well, uh, we don't, we don't have uh, oxys here. That's uh, that's against the law. <laughs> you gotta go to the doctor for some oxycontin. <laughs> And then we figured out, oh, uh, <laughs> um, she wanted oxytocin. So I was like, oh, ma'am, it's uh, oxytocin. She goes, yes, yes, that's it. I need some. And I'm coming from far away. I need some oxytocin. And I was like, girl, uh, that's um, the, the, the feel-good hormone. She goes, okay, it's a hormones. And I was like, yeah. Okay, I'm coming down to the store. Do you sell it? I said, no, we don't sell oxytocin, ma'am. It's fucking free. <laughs> I was like, you can give yourself a hug, pat yourself on the back, shake somebody's hand, pet a dog, buy a turtle. You get oxytocin from that. No, no, no. I need a pill. I need a pill. I need the oxytocin. Ma'am, I don't have anything in a pill that will give you oxytocin. I got, I got some CBD, some CBD gummies, yeah. <laughs> I need the oxytocin. I was like, oh, wow. Um, so um, about that, I don't actually have um, any oxytocin for sale. It's free in the world. You can get it from anyone. You can give it to yourself. Have you ever heard of masturbation? <laughs> Tell it in Spanish. Masturbation. <laughs> masturbation. <laughs> I was like, lady, you can get, it's, it's feel good hormones. Hey, you want to have some ice cream? Get some oxytocin. Go for it, girl. Uh, she was like, no, no, I need it in a pill and I'm coming down there. I'm like, okay, well, when you get down here, I'll give you a hug unless you are a weirdo, which sound like one. So, um, okay, uh, sure. When you get down here, we'll show you where the oxytocin's at. Goodbye. <laughs> I was like, damn, bitch, you are crazy. Oxytocin is free, Jack. Give somebody a high five today. Give somebody a hug. Maybe um, jack your friend off. <laughs> Maybe uh, put a couple fingers in the old pushy. <laughs> or some in a, in a Spanish, in a Espanol, Mr. Bechon. <laughs> You'll get all the oxytocin you want, Jack. <laughs> Holy shit, man, that was that was wild. <laughs> some current events, some current events. Well, folks, I saw Mission Impossible at the movies, and you know, I was quite pleased. Uh, you know, I went to the movies uh, to, to to support my friend and his little function he had going on, and uh, you know, otherwise I hate going to the movies, but I'll do it for a friend. So I, I, I went to the movie and I seen Mission Impossible. I wasn't keen on watching it until streaming, you know, but uh, I said, eh, the homie's trying to get a thing together and let me go with him. So uh, unbeknownst to my homie, my day starts at five o'clock in the fucking morning and then I do two hours of jujitsu from six to eight and then I go home and do a bunch of chores and yard work. So your dear friend, by the time three o'clock rolls around, I need a motherfucking nap or I am toast. So I did not get my nap, went to the movies, met them, and uh, sat down. And I was so sleep deprived that uh, uh, when the movie started, there are some, like, there's a scene where they're in the ice, right? <laughs> they're in the ice, okay? And uh, there might be some spoilers, so if you are going to see Mission Impossible, then you might want to fast forward. Um, but I'm going to try not to give you a whole lot of spoilers here, because I'm just describing what I saw, okay? In my sleep deprived state. So, uh, the movie starts and, um, <laughs> I am so tired. I'm trying to stay awake. The movie starts and we're underwater. We're under some ice in a submarine, right? And the submarine's like scooting around or whatever, right? And to me, in my brain, my tired ass brain, I look up at the screen. I'm like, is this what toilet paper looks like in the toilet? Are we at the bottom angle of the toilet? What's happening? <laughs> And then the submarine just happens to move in 
to this piece of rock or, or drives over this, this, this cliff in the water. And it literally looked like, I'm not joking. It literally looked like a piece of poop coming out of the, the anos. The the, the fucking submarine looked like it was a piece of poop coming out of the anus. I was like, oh my God, am I inside of a toilet? What is happening? I can't make sense of what's going on. Oh, my brain was telling me that Mission Impossible was <laughs> these two. <laughs> Tom Cruise is trying to save the world from this massive poop. <laughs> I was so tired and completely just beside myself. I was like, oh, my God, just stay awake. Eat this delicious popcorn. Here, have have another sip of your $10 fucking icy. Come on, stay awake, Jen. I fell asleep like six different times in there. But when I did wake up, there was some Chinese lady with fucking coke all over her face. This is a true story. I'm not lying. This like Tom Cruise hired this this lady. <laughs> she was driving the fucking car <laughs> and chasing Tom Cruise. And her face was like half like the, the makeup she had on was just so absurd. It just looked like she <laughs> smeared coke all over her face. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo look out tom you got this coked out bitch chasing you <laughs> oh my god i was completely useless in this movie i was just trying to like make sense of things that were happening but i was so tired because i had been up since five and i had trained and then i had done all that yard work i was exhausted and then after I was just nodding out a few times, like, I'm not joking. I counted at least three or four times, and then one of them, I actually jumped up. Something exploded, and I just jumped up because I was asleep. <laughs> not that this movie was bad. This movie was excellent. It was it was impressive that Tom Cruise was doing all his own stunts, and the, the shoot-ems, and the, and the coked-out chick. Um, but good lord. Good lord. What did it for me was these two grandmas, okay, in the theater. They talked from the moment the lights went out until the lights came back on. These motherfuckers, Norma Stitz and Ethel Mertz, okay? <laughs> we're fucking talking the whole time. And I was like, oh, I'm going to whoop this trick right now. I'm going to beat the ass. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> People over here trying to watch a movie and sleep. <laughs> These two G-Mons were over there chatting in the corner like, oh, look out, Tom, look out. Don't forget your parachute. Tom, that lady's behind you, look out. Oh, he's such a stud, look at him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, is he going to jump off the mountain? Pull the chute, Tom, pull the chute. <laughs> I was like, Sh shut the fuck up, bitch. Hey, hey, Jima. Hey, trying to fucking sleep through this movie here. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tom, you got to find the submarine. <laughs> oh, is that gas? Look out, Tom. Don't light a match. You're going to blow up. Safety first, Tom. She was just, those two old ladies were besides them, though. They were just, they just were having a full-on conversation like it was their house. And that's the fucking shit I hate. People, when they fucking ruin the movie. I was like, oh, my God, bitch. And all I could hear was that fucking song. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. Whoop that trick. I was like, oh, my God, bitch. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Both of you's. Talk about it after. Oh, look at this beautiful train they're on. Oh, my God. There's a bomb on the train. <laughs> oh, my God. They're on top of the train. Look out, Tom. I was like, oh, shut up. <laughs> I couldn't 
fucking believe it. And then my one of my friends is sitting next to me. Shout out to the homie Dave. He was laughing. He was fucking laughing. And I was like, oh my God, don't fucking encourage them. Don't encourage them. And then people were like, oh, like people were hearing them talking and yelling at the theater, like, look out, Tom! Tom! And I was like, oh my God, everybody, we need to, we need to have a unified front. You know, BLM. <laughs> we need to stop these two G mods from fucking talking this whole time. We need to get BLM up in here. We need to protect the trans kids. <laughs> we need to stop Asian hate. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I was so infuriated. I'm like, hey, hey. We're supposed to band together. Hey, hey, ho, ho, these two old ladies got to go. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Excellent movie. I highly recommend. Please go see it. And if you can find fucking Norma's tits and they'll merge, go see it with those two jackasses. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, I hope you guys got to catch Wimbledon. Wimbledon was absolutely fascinating. One of the best Wimbledon games I've seen in a fucking while, okay? Um, I can't say that I've seen because I was at work, so I was listening to the audio. And uh, my God, my God, the game was almost five fucking hours of guys going, ha, 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 ha. It's kind of weird <laughs> walking into back office in here. Oh, <laughs> one of the guys was like, I thought you were watching a soap opera or something. <laughs> oh, I was like, yes, a very gay soap opera. No, it's Wimbledon, you jackass. The greatest tennis tournament of all time. Wimbledon. Holy shit. It was fucking spectacular. I could not believe that this 20 year old put an ass whooping on my boy, Novak Dokovic. I mean, holy fucking shit. I watched shit. I listened to the first two sets and uh, <laughs> um, when I was when I was listening, I said, man, uh, I could I could keep keep hearing they were stopping the game a lot because um, no, uh, Dokovic was complaining a lot and and hooting and hollering and whatnot. And I said, oh, man, please. Hey, player, you can't be emotional. It's tennis. You got to manage your emotions. That is the sport of all sports to play if you are an ace with managing your emotions. And I knew once he couldn't manage his emotions, he's yelling at the umpire and, and carrying on and, and, and bitching and moaning. I said, oh, my God, this 20-year-old is a complete assassin on the court, okay? And even when the match was over and he lost to this, to this uh, Carlos Alcaraz, um, Dokovic even said, he said it was like playing himself, but at age 20 with a splash of himself and uh, Rafael Nadal and uh, Roger Federer mixed together. All three of them combined. He had every element of those three players and then executed that even better with his uh, uh, stamp on it. So I was like, man, if, if Dokovic is telling you that he just played three of the best players in one in this match, that that kid is fucking good. 20 years old, fucking crazy how good this guy is. Stone Cold just played the perfect game and got uh, Dokovic off. He just he just had a bad day, couldn't get things together, and this kid was a fucking assassin and played his heart out and won Wimbledon. Spectacular. 20 years old, wins Wimbledon. Um, also, I can't think of her lady because it's hard for me to watch the women's one and it's not Serena, but uh, the women's one, uh, an unseated, an unranked player, a chick from the bottom of the barrel beat the number one contender. That's pretty crazy. I can't think of her name. Some Russian chick. Um, but kudos to her. Uh, I highly recommend Tennis is On. You got to check that shit out. It's a, really, it's a really cool game. I highly recommend Tennis. Uh, and finally, uh, I'm going to end with some motherfucking UFC picks. I'm sorry. My picks have been shitting the bed completely shitty. So it's been two weeks of absolute dog shit picks. So how about... Uh, we try something different. How about you all, y'all just bet against me and then you'll get rich because my picks have been so bad. Um, but <laughs> uh, we are in England. So I went with mostly homegrown English fighters. So they should win. OK, uh, home court advantage, if you will. But uh, do what you got to do. It's your money. 
and bet responsibly and wisely, of course. UFC Tom Aspinall versus Marcin Tabura, nine of fucking clock in the morning West Coast time because they're in England. My picks are Jafal Shilo, Bruna Brazil, Chris Duncan, Kathleen Vieira, Mahmoud Muradov, Michael Parkton, Mark DeCasey, Danny Roberts, Davy Grant, Leron Murphy, Jai Herbert, Andre Munoz, Nathaniel Wood, Meatball motherfucking Molly McCann, Tom Aspinall. Those are my motherfucking UFC picks. Bet with me, bet against me. Who cares? Let's watch some fucking fights. Yeah! Friends, I have had so much fun. It is time for me to go. I must, I must, I must go lay down in front of a fan because this is 106 degrees and my skin is melting. You understand? I have melted into my computer chair. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe to Rambopa Radio. Rambopa.radio.com. Merch. Buy something. It supports the show. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I will talk to y'all next week. Much love. But until next time, this is Rambo Radio. I'm out. Peace.